We got this old Welleck Transformateur, came in from a bunker in Tekapuna. Has been abandoned for about 30 years plus. Sitting uh, fully submerged in water. As you can see the cables were cut off many years ago. Been de-energized for about, yeah, 30, 40 years. Complete with header tank. Buchholz relay with classic valves on it. Explosion vent which is rusted out. Silica gel container, HV box. Somebody nicked the nameplate, but I got a photo of that which I'll insert in the video. Got somewhere, and as you can see here, this is pretty rusty here and crusty. And cable HV side 11,000. I'm just curious, I want to do an oil sample, uh, see how good the oil performs on a device which has been de energized for 30 or so years. And, uh, well, obviously it hasn't been rusted through, as you can see the way the paint it doesn't look too bad. It's on a day where you probably have proper lead-based paint, not like the crap paint we use now these days. So uh, I managed to loosen this uh, plug here, and we're gonna see if I can get a sample. I will flush this first, and then we'll see oh, a little bit there. That's all right. I probably put gloves on, but it could be PCB holes in here. I'm not sure, but we're gonna test it, and we'll see what we get out of it. 15, that means 15 ampere on the primary fuses, which probably brings it back to about 200 kVA or 250. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a sample, flush it first, get my gloves on, and uh, I'll keep everybody posted. So it's quite a cool device. It will go to the scrapper, I think. Uh, it won't be reused, unfortunately. Another look at here, what is this device here? That's uh, probably where the contacts are, alarm contacts and things. Nice plumbing. Look at the oil gauge, no oil in the header tank. Yeah. So uh, here we go ahead and I'll take a sample out of the device and we'll see how we go. And we'll see if that valve works. It does work, that's good. So I'm going to take some oil out of the device. And we're going to take, I'll just do it slow. It does flush. I may get another container for this. Standby. The smell of nice stale old transformer oil, oh, who's nice and dark yellow. Now we're just going to carry on. I've got this uh, can pe pegged here now. Put a spindle there and we'll just uh, open this up again and we'll take a couple, uh, flush a couple of liters out of it first. And then I'm going to concentrate on uh, doing a test and see what happens. Okay, third, third flush we're going to do here. Take a bit more oil out of the device and then we'll go to reservoir 4, then we're going to put it in the machine and we'll see what we can get out of it. Close off, take that away. Look at that, yep. Nice dark oil. It doesn't look too bad, Dave. Just one -ish. Other sample. Get the camo rolling. Get this here. Get the little plug behind. Open the device active again. Uh, take the four. Oh, pissing this a bit too much. That's all right. In the name of science, you need to do these things. It's just knowledge you're going to get out of this. And the next bottle will be the sample. Things take time. This is going to be the sample. This is going to be put in the mega device for analyzation. It smells, it's uh, old oil, but yeah. It's alright, it should be okay. The file before it gets to 10 kV. Oh, uh, surprised. Well, we'll see. Oh. Must have fucking moisture in it. Oh, there will be moisture in it, definitely. So it's pretty dark. That's the steering device for the oil sampling testing, and this is the test container, the receptacle. This is set up for a uh, 2.5 millimeter or one tenth, tenth of an inch for my American friends. And we're gonna put the oil in there shortly. Yep. So here we go. Here we're gonna pour the oil in the machine or in the receptacle tester. 
normally that's it for wee while and then uh, we do the test on it so looks a lot darker than normal transformer oil but it has been in there for a long time so here going to a test cell we're going to put a capsule in here it's in the mega device I'll, not, I'll wait a couple of minutes to before we start the test and then it will be sample and we'll see what happens I'll let it sit there for a few minutes you can push the button Dave and start the test and it's doing countdown we'll see if we get on the screen here 459 so it'll be five minutes steering power and then we get the uh, six breakdown test on the device so we'll stand by for that we'll only start in five minutes four three two one counter goes and get it on display and see what happens Each. I'm shocked. Fuck, that's amazing. <laughs> 20k here, really. 20 already. Shit. First test on 40, or probably 70 year old oil, but the original oil. No, you got to be joking. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. 46kV. <laughs> I'm Flaming shocked. heck, this is sample one. Well, you get the random test, so we'll see what happens. We'll watch the others. 46kV! This Go. is test number two. Let's see if we can capture the spark. I don't hope the camera focuses. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Fifteen kV. Twenty kV. Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty-five. Yeah, the spark. That's a bit lower. It's on the display here, so we can capture that. Yeah. I can Zero, off we go. I'll show the display, see how it runs. Come on, hopefully it doesn't flicker. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 42. Oh, for test number four shortly, 42.4, we'll see what we come up with now, I'll see if we get the arc on there. The camera picks it out, and that's, that's why you got an editing program, so you can uh, cut the boring parts out of the video, that's quite important. 25, 30, 35, 40, 42.6, that was pretty close. Okay, ready for test number five. Down there, so we can see the arc and the breakdown device. Is it? Yeah, perfect. That's good. So keep it like that. So it's nice and dark. There, 20 kV now. 25, 30, 33. It's a lower one. Yeah. But that, that's normal in the processes. Last test coming up. Test number last, and we'll see what comes out of the device. Hopefully, about mid 30s. Six, seven, eight, ten, twenty, thirty, thirty-eight. There we go. A bit more light, so we get the printer in action. Ah, beautiful. Does it give you the? Yeah, it will get comes on the printer. It did break 39.3, I think. Something like that, I'll have closer to it. So the device is uh, ejaculated in the paper at the moment. Ejaculated! I'm going to dispose of the sample. Every 35, 39 kV. 39 kV, that's bloody brilliant, Dave. Exceeded my expectations. For an 82 year old transformer, so the oil is most likely 82 years old. Sweet! So here we get the test results. So we got here. So the overall reading is 39.0 kV for 82 year old transformator oil. So here we go, 30, uh, 1937 transformateur, the oil would have been 82 years old, 
sitting more or less 30 plus years de-energized in Seoul and it passed with 39 kV. Quite amazing. Thanks for watching. This is a Rodolco 2007.